but it's 1969. Yeah, 1969. That could not be better for a joke. Yes. All right, yes, you set me up for success, honey. All right, here we go. My vision for the Stand By You concert special was to really reflect the LGBTQ community on the stage. It was my honor, it was my privilege to stand there and to represent an entire community. And I wanted to make sure I served it justice, which is what we demand. The Ryman Auditorium is literally the nucleus of country music, and I just filled it with fucking drag queens. It has inspired all country artists from all different generations, and it is the house of Hee Haw since 1969. There's gonna be a lot of those cheap jokes, but no cheap looks in. Can y'all say howdy? I wanted to open the Stand By You special with a very miley fied monologue. <clears throat> We're known for our whiskey and known for our jam and being too glam to give a damn. It was a little bit of everything that I do. We laugh, we smile, we make jokes, we keep it lighthearted, but we also address issues. We address why we have filled up the Ryman Auditorium, what's brought us all together, why we're here not only to celebrate, but demand changes. So I thought that I could give a little bit of everything. It could be fun, it could be showbiz, but it could also be direct, talking to everyone at home about what we ask of them after the special and how they could get involved. I want to also talk to everybody directly at home I know a lot of us have been divided, we've been separated, we've been isolated, we've been distanced. And so I thought it was really important for those that could come together and fill this place with human beings and connections and real vibes and energy, but also to not forget about everybody who's watching at home and tuning in because it is just as important for them to be engaged, to be paying attention, not only to the music, to about everything we're saying and what we need for the LGBTQ community to continue to thrive. Blessings. I chose to do We Belong by Pat Benatar with Brothers Osborne because sometimes you can't always judge a book by its cover. We have a lot more in common than just listening to our music or seeing us on stage. We really connected. I consider those dudes friends of mine and now family. They were really there when I needed them and so I thought it was perfect for this song to really reflect our relationship IRL. I picked Dancing Queen for me and Maren Morris to perform together. I love Maren, she's a real friend of mine. We've actually sang together before for a Dolly tribute, so I knew that we could do harmonies. I knew what she was gonna bring vocally, and I know that it's something very different from my approach to a song. Sometimes when things are different, that's what makes them really beautiful and makes them go together. It's called Sweet and Salty. I chose to close the Stand By You special with Freedom by George Michael, because that's really what Stand By You is all about. It's about demanding freedom for all Americans. Miss Tennessee, join me to celebrate pride through the power of music. See you there. Are we rolling on that? Because that's good. Um, I want that. <laughs>